Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I am back with another video. Today I am going to talk about that create that Amazon ECR repositories with Terraform. In recent times, most of the organization have been migrating from monolithic application to that microservice application, which enable that organization to optimize the resource or enhance the collaboration, also the streamline the business process. As a part of the microservice architecture, so each service they are owning the Docker registries. So as the number of the services is increasing, there will be the requirement to create the new repository for the each service. So AWS ECS service provide the secured or scalable to store the Docker image also can support that private repository as well as that public repositories. The future of ECS. So we'll be see one by one. The first one is the image stack mutability. So when you are going to configure that any repository with the immutable feature, so that you can prevent the image tagging for being overwritten. For example, if you are enabled the image tag mutable features room, so when you are pushing an any image within latest tag again, so you will get an error called already existing the latest image. So basically what will happen, it cannot able to overwriting that existing latest image. So next one is the scanning the image for security variability. In this particular feature, to scanning the image help in and identify the software vulnerability in that container image. Next one is that image replications. You can able to replicate that container image either in the different region also across that account as well. The next one is that life cycle policy to managing the container image using the specific rule such as that deleting that unused image or managing the active number of the image. So we can set that certain criteria like that image size or sizing counting operation so that it be the life policy will be working on that. So next one is that tagging and existing the ECR. Tagging is that other important ECR feature. So allow to the managing your repository or assigning the metadata to the each repository. In generally the tagging is the label that containing that two types of information such as that naming or value. So it basically to use to categorize your AWS resource with a different form. So next one is that flow diagram. So in this video, I'm going to push that Docker image from my local EC2 instance to that AWS ECR. Here I'm retaining that Docker file for minimal thing. The next one is I'm building the Docker image from local from the Docker file. So then I'm creating the repository in that AWS ECR through Terraform. And after that, I'm assigning the tag for that Docker image for that AWS ECR. Later on that, I'm pushing the Docker image to that AWS ECR. So this entire operation I'm going to perform with that Terraform code. Pricing model. So on the other hand, the Docker Hub is that one of the free tier, but you cannot able to have the private registry. But whereas ECR, they have no minimal fees, no upfront charge, also can uh, eligible to that free tier. You can also the pay for that what you can use. So you can see that in this case, that is only for storage and also that data transfer only be chargeable. The remaining things all are, are they not chargeable at all. So moving to that Visual Studio code. So the entire code is available on my repo. So if you want, you can check it out. So first we will going to see on that main.tf file. So the entire activities I am performing in that AWS cloud. So I provided that AWS provider along with that region. The next resource is AWS ECR repository. Basically here we are creating that repo. We'll be see on the one by one the parameter. The first one is the name. It be referred with that repository name. Next one is that image tag mutability. Here I written as that logical conditions. Basically the, I'm, I'm mentioning the value under the variable or TF file. I make it as the true. So basically what will happen if the condition is true, it be taking as that immutability. If the condition is a false, then it'll be taking as that mutable. Next parameter value is force underscore delete equal to true. We can able to delete the repository even it be container image will be present. Next one is that image scanning configuration. It will be basically to scanning that image. So here we are using on that scanning on push actually. It will be indicating that whether the image or scanning after that pushing to that repository. Next one is that encryption on configuration. We are using the KMS. So KMS will basically to help us that server side encryption it be working as. Next one is a tag. Tag is used to that allocating that resource identifications. The next resource is that AWS ECR lifecycle policy. So this policy to help us 
uh, deleting the easier image that you don't needed so in this case we can free up the spaces also can reduce that storage cost the important one that rule priority equal to one so the rule priority is always supporting us that numerical order only which means that you have an image that matching the condition for rule priority in my case i'm mentioning as a one for example if you can create the couple of rule priority one called as that one another one as that two so always it'll be considered as the higher priority rule only it'll be applicable first next one is the selection stage so here we can see the things tag status i'm mentioning as that any so that untagged or tagged there is a lot of option is available so based on your application need you can choosing on that next one is that count type here i'm mentioning as since image pushed actually which means that expiry date of the image it was created also it be available on other one also image count more than other one option basically to delete over the image count next one is that count unit here i provide as that day so also you can see a thing the count number i provided the 14 so basically within the 14 days i am deleting that any image the next resource is aws ecr resource policies so basically this policy is for providing that privilege to that corresponding user in my case i am in this principal value i am pro uh, providing as that asterisk which means that i am providing the privilege to everyone suppose if you want to provide the privilege to that specific user you have to pro provide that ERN value here instead of that asterisk next resource is an L resource basically i am executing the shell script so i can moving to that one of the directory called nginx inside the nginx folder i am retaining the couple of file one for that shell script other one for that docker file also i can put that nginx configurations i will be open the shell script first here so in this shell script i am defining that variable here so based on my account name the repository whichever i am going to want to create so those information will be there Two one is i am trying to log in with that aws ecr registry with the help of that aws config I am already provided that SS key and the private key in this file so that it be that automatically taking from that my Terraform because my Terraform I defining as that local executor. Next one is I am building the Docker image. So once the building is completed, I am assigning that Docker image to that tagging part. So once the tagging is completed, then I am trying to push that Docker image to that ECR registries. So we'll be moving to that CLI terminal to executing that Terraform commands. Right now I am at the terminal, so already I am loading that my code from the repository, so I am directly going to the folder. So the list of file is present, so I am going to executing the terraform apply command here. Yeah, right now it be showing as the four resource going to add actually so it be asking for the user input so i'm providing that user input as that yes just time enter it here yeah i'm going to create that resource so now that building is going on yeah we have successfully executed the terraform operations so we are moving to that aws console so i'm Right now I am at that AWS console, so I am going to search with that ECR service. So I click that Elastic Container Registry here. Yeah, we successfully created that repository. So I am clicking the repository docker underscore ECR repo. Also scanning also is completed so you can see the variability showing us that 2 is high if you want to detail more you can click the details then I can going to click that uh, life cycle policies in this life cycle policy I provide the 14 days expiry date so it be properly visible here also the priority is 1 here and then I'm going to the permission in this permission tab you can see the principle i am providing the asterisks this those values also reflected properly i hope it be useful to everyone if you have any doubt please ping me thanks for watching bye